Hey guys, I'm um, back with another video this week. Um, this week is going to be a little different. I got a comment on my second to last video um, asking if I could do a more in-depth uh, video on how I draw and my style and stuff. So I thought maybe I should just do a whole um, how I found my style, my art style, and um, yeah, and how I how I what my purpose is for it, you know. So um, yeah, that's what this video is going to be about. Um, I know it's really hard to find a, an art style. I it took me a long time. I've been drawing since I was like little, like a baby, you know. So I, it took me a long time to you know draw in a way that was unique to other people and diff a little different than others. So, um, yeah, I'm going to talk to you guys about that journey. So, the reason why I draw in such a sketchy style is because I hate outlining. That's my biggest, that was the biggest reason for me because I was drawing one day and I was like, if I don't like the style that I'm drawing in, if I don't like having to outline, after I like I love sketching I love how everything looks in the sketchy form and then I get to outline and I'm like I don't really know if I like it as much as I did it loses its personality when you when I, I feel like when I did my outlining so I just decided to leave it in a sketch form and then I was like okay the sketch look form looks nice um I didn't know if I could just leave it in a black color or not and so I did and I was like I don't know if I like it as much so what I did was I was let the color uh, let's say if I'm drawing a pants on a character I select the color of the pants of the darkest shade that is in like the shadow part of it and then I would make it darker make that shade darker that color darker and then um, I would use that to color in just the outline part that goes around the pants and the sketch part that goes around the pants so that after I did that and I did that to every part of the body I did the skin, I did the skin tone, it was a darker shade, the shirts and stuff like that, etc. The hair. So I was like, oh, I kind of I kind of like how this looks. So ever since then, that's what I've been doing. That's my go-to style and my favorite style I have now. Um, I did a lot of my Aurora characters already when I drew them out to, you know, in a T-pose to start animating on um, Toon Boom. I did a lot of them in that um, in that kind of uh, outline, that hard outline look, and I was like, now I look at the, I did the um, video on the four characters, um, four kids I did for my Aurora animation, and like, I like how they look, they look, you know, more natural, they look like, they, I don't know, they look like they're supposed to be there, and when they, when I did the outlining on my other characters, it just looks weird, so. I was thinking maybe I should just redo them in all in that sketchy style that I have now. Um, another thing is where I also grabbed a lot of inspiration is from people on Instagram. It's having having somebody you admire in the art industry is a good thing to have because you can grab inspiration from them easily. Um, I don't. I didn't just copy down everything. Like I love. Um, that girl, Natalie Madej, Madej, M-A-D-E-J, um, I love her art, and I've been following her for years, I used to always see her pictures on Pinterest when I was younger and stuff like that, like back in high school, and I'd be like, oh my gosh, I wish I could draw like this, and, um, the other girl, EMZ Drawings and stuff like that, uh, Chris Loray, Christina Lore, um, I love all their art. I used to, I was like, wow, this is like the style that I, I want to go after. I loved how Natalie did her drawings on outfits and um, her clothes and um, just how like how realistic they all look. And she did it all in color pencil and I'm being so wowed and in and, and, and awe of her work. And then Chris Lore, Christina Lore, um on Instagram, she also has a YouTube channel. Um, I loved how her eyes and how like curvy all her characters looked um that she made and so I took a little bit of inspiration from each each person and I made it my own you can't just copy somebody else's art style and then say it's yours you uh, it's okay to grab I remember um in college I had to read a a book 
I can't remember what it's called. If I think for my English class, and it was um the art of clapping or something like that. It had something to do with that because the whole book was about you know grabbing inspiration is okay, but not copying word for word from somebody else or uh exactly tracing over somebody's work and calling it yours but grabbing inspiration using references are is perfectly fine and i used to beat myself up a lot if i drew too much from a reference i used to think references were bad and i didn't want to go to art college i was like oh everybody uses references you're supposed to use references when you use poses and so now that's what i'm starting to do as you guys can tell i always pull up pinterest on the side when I start drawing and I got my inspiration from there from poses or outfits and stuff like that but uh yeah that's my favorite thing to do um so when I was in college um I had an art um an animation professor um when I took my first animation class action analysis one he said my sketching was bad because I when I draw I hash over things multiple times. I don't know if you guys can tell. Like I go back over my lines and to recorrect them. He says it's like um I don't know where I'm placing my lines or something like that. So ever since then I I can't get out of that style because I've been doing it for so long. But the way I do my art now, I love how it looks and the way I I render my characters after and stuff like that is I think it's all on personal preference now because I mean yeah I took his um I tried to do what he said I tried to do you know make more intentional lines and and when I actually think about where I want to put lines at and where I want to draw and put a you know make an emphasis on and draw a line there but I don't know I just like the sketchy style look too anyway I just not it's not just that I didn't know where I was putting my lines it's just I like the sketchy look so that I, I took that criticism with a grain of salt and I just made it my own I think I, I, a lot of people say that they like my art style so I don't think it's a problem that I go over my thing I know I had a couple professors in my drawing one and my drawing two classes I would say you know I, I I know what I'm I like I know what I'm doing and stuff like that but I just go I keep going over my lines like I'm unsure of what I'm doing but I just like the sketchy look and style of everything but I like how I have turned it into something that I'm really proud of and I love doing and it makes me draw it makes me enjoy art more because I like knowing that I have my own style of things and then I like having uh I could draw different styles I like having this style like where I draw a little more sketchier and stuff a little more messy and then I like if I have to I can outline but um yeah it looks like having multiple being able to do multiple styles and renderings of uh drawing but uh, as you can see here I am drawing first uh, a girl um I draw her again um so it's not like her sister it's just her um you know going out if she ever had to uh going out in uh an outside day clothes everyday clothes and then the other uh, picture on the right is of her in a more casual you know quarantine outfit like the rest of us just chilling around the house and stuff like that so that's what she's in and then you can also tell on the left i did a more it's a more cleaned up version of my uh style it doesn't have as many uh stray lines on the sides and stuff like that it's still sketchy but not as messy as maybe the one on the right that i have done um but i'll still love either style I, if i had to do an animation i'll probably do it more in that on the left side so it's just easier to keep up with you no know, especially if i had to do puppeting animation it's just easier to not have so many lines going everywhere but um yeah i love if i'm just doing a regular illustration the left is like my go-to way to do it i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um give it a thumbs up a like um if you want to uh subscribe if you're not subscribed yet um i try we're about to move so i'm trying to post daily if i can not daily but weekly if i can um i'm it sometimes is around the two weeks area but um i'm trying to do it more weekly based 
um, especially since I'm going to school. I don't know if it's going to be all the um, every week, but uh, I'm going to try. Also, I'm I'm trying to move to New York with my aunt, so it's a lot of less, a lot of less, or less, a lot. Well, it's quieter there. It's only my aunt and my uncle and her dog that she just got, Cody, a little terrier, and um, oh no, not terrier, it's a Yorkie. And then um, she was gonna get a terrier, and then um, yeah, because my mom is planning to move, we're moving to a new hotel in general but it's still too many people i have four siblings my mom and then her loud boyfriend so i just another space so i could film my videos is what i'm looking for and somewhere i could do my uh schoolwork and stuff like that focus on my classes and things like that that's what i'm really hoping for to do soon so a lot more videos coming soon uh thank you guys for 18 subscribers um you guys are everything thank you you guys are so sweet um comment leave comments in the uh just in the uh, comments below comment section below um i love reading comments i love 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 reading comments um i have i want to do a special shout out to taylor rose she comments literally every week on every video i do not every week but because i don't put out a video every week but on every video that i put out she always comments and she's been subscribed to me for so long so I want to thank you for the extra support. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day or rest of your week since, uh, since it'll be a week since I see you. So bye guys.